My name is Dr. Feruz uh, Surur. Uh, I am uh, a senior consultant gynecologist, reproductive endocrinology, and infertility subspecialist. I'm currently the medical director of uh, the Center for Reproductive uh, Medicine uh, at St. Paul's Hospital Millennium Medical College, the first public IVF center uh, in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a country of 100 million people and uh, where uh, infertility affects uh, something like 15% of uh, uh, all couples. So we are dealing with millions of uh, infertile patients who would be seeking for uh, um, assisted reproductive technology treatment, including uh, the IVF. There was hardly any uh, thing available in Ethiopia until now, um, and the very few who are capable uh, were going abroad um, for treatment um, with uh, so many challenges, not only financial, cultural, language barriers, um, and what have you. So, uh, with the establishment of this IVF center, uh, at least we have given a hope for millions of uh, uh, people, men and women, uh, for a possibility of getting the treatment uh, here. The uh, center, as I said, is the first of its kind for as a public uh, IVF, and we started uh, from scratch for everything. Uh, the biggest contribution of Merck Foundation first was by training our uh, four embryologists uh, uh, who had a chance to go to three to India and one to uh, Indonesia uh, for a three months training, uh, had uh, a basic embryology training and uh, uh, subsequently with uh, supervision from other senior kind of embryologists were able to uh, support the center. Now they have almost reached to a stage of uh, independence and uh, we apparently are at, at a time that we're doing our first batch without the support of any other senior embryologists. And uh, these uh, three embryologists have managed to handle our cases by themselves. Mark Foundation has made it possible for us to be literally independent in terms of uh, embryology. Having said that, uh, uh, I am also a big beneficiary of uh, the Merck Foundation uh, training opportunity for gynecologists. I, I, with my colleague Dr. Mustafa, were recruited as, as um, uh, subspecialists in fertility and reproductive endocrinology, which was uh, started at St. Paul's Hospital in collaboration with the University of Michigan uh, for more than two years, um, almost a three years program. And we were uh, having this training, but uh, never had a hands-on, hands-on uh, IVF training. And uh, the uh, Merck Foundation training came at the right time when we were about uh, finishing our training and, and uh, it just, just gave us that kick uh, to uh, have a first hand, uh, hands-on training on uh, IVF. And uh, right after we came from there, uh, we started our uh, IVF practices and we are at a stage now, we are independent practitioners of IVF. Um, we have already done more than 120 uh, cycles in uh, just uh, um, five, five, six months, uh, six months. We are aiming to do uh, more than a thousand uh, per year and very soon uh, 2,000 uh, cycles uh, uh, per year, which we are cap capable of uh, handling. This is a public IVF first and foremost, and like any public uh, uh, facility, the service is being provided at a very low price, a subsidized uh, price. So uh, right now, the people are managing to get the service at a fraction of what they would have spent if they have to go uh, abroad. I am really grateful for uh, the foundation, that, uh, for the foundation for giving us 
not only me personally, but for uh, the country uh, to, to, to be able to provide uh, uh, very much needed uh, service uh, IVF. And with their continued support, which, which uh, we are promised to, and I'm hoping there are more centers, including private centers, uh, will open to cater for the very vast need uh, of infertility treatment in this country. Again, uh, I, I very much like to thank the Mark Foundation for the big help in uh, making us stand on ourselves. Thank you.